how to set this control kernel parameter with Ansible, I'm going to show you in a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are going to talk about Ansible module syscontrol. The full name is ansible.posix.syscontrol, <clears throat> which means that is part of a collection or module ansible.posix to interact with POSIX platforms. The purpose of the module is to manage entries in syscontrol.conf. Parameters. Let me summarize the parameter of syscontrol module. The only required is name where you specify the parameter name to access or edit. The parameter value set the value of syscontrol parameter exactly what you want. The parameter reload default to yes reload the configuration file if any changes occur. The parameter state set the present or absent of parameter in the syscontrol file. The parameter syscontrol underscore file allow you to specify the configuration file for syscontrol default to slash etc slash syscontrol.conf The parameter syscontrol underscore set allow you to configure a parameter permanently that survive after reboot so might be useful and is default to no. Another handful is ignore errors, that is a boolean that allow you to ignore errors about unknown keys, default to no. Could be useful is your, if your fleet is very wide and have different version of kernel running. So let's move on. Demo time. Let's jump in a real life playbook to set this control kernel parameter with Ansible. Are you excited? Let's go! And welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to set this control kernel parameters. First of all, let's begin our YAML file with free dash and let's define a name for our play syscontrol module demo. Then we need to specify which host, in my case all of my inventory, and let me add also become true because uh, I need a root privilege to change this type of parameter, you know, only root can change kernel things. And variable, let me define two variable, syscontrol underscore name, that is the parameter name, in my case vm dot swappiness. This is uh, a parameter to define how often the kernel need to move the pages from the main memory to swap. And let me define the value of 5. You can find all this information uh, online and it's pretty famous the parameter. You can adapt to your use case. On the task list, uh, let me specify only one task that is named set syscontrol that is going to target the module ansible.posix.syscontrol. Let me specify a few parameters. First of all, the name of a parameter, so in my case the value of syscontrol underscore name, here we go and the value, value that will be the same story, the value of the variable syscontrol value. Ok, what else? Let me add also the state that need to be present and two other options, syscontrol underscore set to true to verify that the parameter is correctly set it 
and reload to true. So let me reload the system control if the parameter change. So here we go, few line of code to define which parameter we would like to change, the name, the value and what to do. So this is very easy, very straightforward line of code to accomplish our use case, modify the syscontrol kernel parameter and let's jump to the console for the live demo. And welcome to my console. First of all, let me connect to my demo target machine to verify the value. So SSH DevOps at demo.example.com. This is my sample Linux demo machine. It's basically one Linux distribution pretty recent with nothing nothing than the default parameter, so let me switch to root sudo su and list all the syscontrol kernel parameters. With command line syscontrol dash a you have a full list of a lot of items and value. So these are the parameters that we could set and let me deep dive on syscontrol vm.swappiness. This is the kernel parameter that we would like to change. So let's verify the current value that is 30. And let me remind you that this parameter goes from 0 to 100. And the significance of this number for reference, just take a look on the Linux documentation. But we would like to modify this number to 5 as we set in our playbook. So let me exit from root and user and execute the playbook. So ansible dash playbook on my controller node. And let me specify also the inventory file. So dash e in my case is stored, uh, is a plain file stored under virtual machine demo inventory. Here we go. And the path of my playbook. And in a blink of an eye, Ansible is going to connect to the target machine, verify the current value, and just in case it will change. In this case, change status means one modification on the target thing operating system. One very interesting fact of the syscontrol module is that if you run again the same playbook and no modification are needed, you got one OK status, which means that this playbook is either important. So great job Ansible, but let me verify that the parameter is really changed on the target system. SSH DevOps at demoexample.com again, and this time I'm switching again to root. So sudo su, let me list the value of system control of vm.swappiness. Let me remind you that before was uh, this number set to 30 and now is 5. Yes! is exactly the value that we set in our playbook. And I set also the persistency with system control set option in Ansible. So let me reboot the system and verify that this parameter is persistent to a system reboot. So let me reconnect again. This is a very fast machine, so already available for the connection. Again, let me switch to root and verify the value of system control vm.swappiness. If it's 5, Ansible did a great job. And, oh, drum roll it is. So wonderful job, Ansible. As you can see, you can change any system control parameter and value for to whatever you want. This is very useful to perform very wide changes on your fleet. And the type of the for a full list of name and value, please refer to the version of your running kernel. 
So here we go, we finish from the console line. Now you know how to set syscontrol kernel parameters with Ansible. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment, or yes, sure, subscribe. Keep in contact with me and enjoy your day. I hope I solved the one problem today. See us next time. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.